so I gain weight and <sighs> just don't want to feel like this anymore. <laughs> After seven months, I had reached my goal. For those of you who don't know, I took you on a journey trying every single workout and documenting every workout, every result, and all the foods I ate. I used to cry every single night wanting to get to my goal weight, so gaining the weight again is something that is very hard to mentally prepare for. Oh, I just feel... Oh, I just don't want to go. I don't want to go. I always say never to start to get on the scales because it ruins the whole day, confidence, everything. <sighs> but I do. So I started the day off trying to find something to wear because I've got somewhere to go to and I'm thinking, I already don't feel great about the idea of going. Nothing fits not one thing two days ago i emptied out a whole entire complete section of my wardrobe because those clothes the jeans were squeezing the tops are now cropped like nothing's fitting anymore <sighs> like i don't even recognize or want to look in the mirror it's that bad no one talks about the hard things that come with gaining weight throwing away so many clothes because they just don't fit anymore being anxious of going to events like not wanting to show your face anywhere like seeing your body change in a way that's so unfamiliar especially if you're used to being slim and fit and wanting that for your life even it's so so hard like it's one of the biggest i would say one of the biggest personality pushers that possible because you really have to re-alter your brain chemistry and your relationship with yourself otherwise you're looking in the mirror constantly you're stepping on the scales constantly it's such a strange place to be in and i want to be there with you guys to show you my journey as like a part two of how i then move forward with that Twenty twenty four is the year of reclaiming gaining control and showing myself it's not genetics and I can do it. Student family. This is such a hard video to wrap my head around. Gaining weight is not easy. And one of the things I love about talking to you guys is talking about things we all go through. And you guys know, being my channel, one of those biggest things for me was weight loss or weight loss journey. It is not easy at all gaining weight seeing your favorite pair of clothes bit by bit by bit like guys i watched my favorite jeans become too small in a space of a few months like when you realize it's like the other day i had i realized i had to give away half of my wardrobe to charity because none of none of it fits anymore and it was balancing the idea of i can't go anywhere i don't feel confident enough to go anywhere because nothing looks good on me nothing fits anymore and realizing okay maybe i just need to buy a different wardrobe it's an expensive things to do and it's an uncomfortable concept to have to realize like no one talks about enough the anxiety that comes with gaining weight and then having to face social events like i have had weeks and weeks and months and months where i'm like i don't even want to go to that event at all i don't want people to see me family members talking about my weight friends talking about my weight like it's something that is such a hard concept for me to access especially when it comes to weight gain and it's such a lonely feeling as well especially if you're surrounded by a lot of people who are already slim or you have a lot of places to go and places to be where you're having to present yourself like just even going to the shops you're having to present yourself as a person and no one ever talks about the anxiety that comes with feeling like your body isn't good enough or your body's too big or the clothes that you're wearing don't fit enough or are too small or they just don't sit right and it's been such a hard journey where i'm like i knew what it was like being the bigger friend and i said to myself i don't want to be the bigger friend anymore it's such an uncomfortable awful awful feeling and to have that kind of come back because one thing i really put into perspective is all throughout life our weight and our health journey will ep and flow into different variations and it will look different continuously and for me one of the main things is acknowledging that even at your slimmest you're still on a weight loss and health journey and for me time is everything and my push and challenge for 2024 is showing you guys all the intricate details of losing weight as i go through my what i'm gonna call it one of the biggest weight loss journeys i'll ever do in my life in regards to motivation and push <laughs> 
and I will go from showing you guys weekly weigh-ins that I never did before. I never showed you guys weekly weigh-ins, weekly measurements, weekly differences, using clothes as a measurement as well. Because one of the things I realized in this really cold time of gaining weight is that every, it's so tempting to every day to wake up and look at the scales. The minute I look on the scales, I'm completely unmotivated now to do the day because I'm going to be disappointed at the scales every time. So one of my biggest pushes of realizing and acknowledging of using clothes as a measurement and and what I'll do for that is show you guys a pair of clothes obviously not at my goal weight because what I want to do is keep it realistic but make it so interactive with you guys to show you guys that exact same pair of clothes week by week how differently they fit and analyze it review it will really really you know, unpack it all showing guys every fitness challenge I'm gonna do every any new like Pilates is a massive trend that came about um more recently online in the last three months like doing a before and after of a month at pilates but showing you guys the differences of every single week the days where eating is hard the days where eating is good the days where i'm like smashing it and doing so so well and the days where i'm like this is the days where i feel like i want to give up i'm going to be filming and documenting every single last final emotion feeling success deterrence blocker everything i'm going to be showing you guys in 2024 so do stick on this journey you guys know i've done it before and i'm just really excited to make it even more optimized than anything ever before for my fitness journey because it can be so disheartening not being at your goal weight it's hard like not enough people talk about how hard it feels i think people can so easily judge someone or you can feel <clears throat> unsupported when it comes to weight gain and things like that but no one really talks about how hard it feels the person who doesn't feel in their body yet and i'm just going to be wanting to push positivity and push the journey so much to really take you guys on that and show you guys exactly what i do exactly how i exercise exactly how i eat every single last second of that so you guys can see the week by week by week the trackers everything i'm just so so excited to do that with you guys if you do like want to see that journey do give it a massive thumbs up it's not easy like not easy in the slightest but i'm really excited to take you guys on that journey as well but i think do like comment and subscribe if you want to see me do more fitness related content obviously i will remain doing the reviews and stuff like that but it's honestly one of the most real biggest realizations is that fitness is a continuous journey even the slimmest people are not going to continuously stay at the exact same way all the time if they do you know they do but every single person has a maintenance that they have for their body and their physique and that's for me what i'm really pushing forward with now is the gradualization of the weight loss journey and showing the gradual improvements and the gradual bit by bit by bit because that's what comes together to create the bigger journey as well so i will be documenting all of that and then showing you guys as that goes along